Inequalities can be written to represent a constraint in a problem. For example, a customer has a $20 bill to pay for groceries. An inequality can be written to represent the total cost of items that can be purchased with $20. If the variable C is the total cost of the items purchased, the value of C must be less than or equal to 20. Notice that values such as C equals 12, C equals 19.78, or C equals 20 can be substituted into this inequality to make this inequality true. The inequality, C less than or equal to 20, is a constraint for this situation because the inequality constrains the possible values for C to just those that are less than or equal to 20. Note, there are many values for C that make this inequality true. If this inequality is changed to the equation C equals 20, only one value makes this equation true. The values that satisfy a constraint can be graphed on a number line or axis. For the previous example, C less than or equal to 20, a closed point can be plotted for C equals 20 because this value satisfies the constraint that the items purchased have a total cost of $20 or less. Then, all the other values that satisfy this constraint can be represented by a shaded line with an arrow at the end. Note, the arrow indicates that there are additional values less than 10 that satisfy this constraint. A different constraint can be written to represent the cost of items that cannot be purchased with a $20 bill, C greater than 20. Notice that C equals 20 does not satisfy this constraint, but every other value greater than 20 does. So, when this new constraint is graphed, an open point is graphed for 20. Then, the values that satisfy this constraint can be represented by a shaded line with an arrow at the end. Note, the arrow indicates that values greater than 30 satisfy this constraint. 